good afternoon everyone it is really nice to see you all in this room i am sure all of you are aware about telecommunication and mobile phones can i hear yes, yes. that's great so let me start with a small introduction about myself i am dr nikhil paul ctio of 6d technologies the photo what you see here has a big connection to my entire story so my parents has been a role model for me in my entire life my father was an engineer specialized in mechanical engineering and he inspired me to do the hard work and also to be persistent to achieve all your dreams and goals in the life he i still remember when i was 14 years old he had a small mechanical industry in my village where he used to build innovative products which used to improve the daily life of many common people in my small beautiful village by the way my village is called manyapra in the state of kerala it's it, it is in ernakulam district a very beautiful village to go and see now my mother she was a housewife and she was a cancer warrior she taught me how to face the tough things in life and how to fight against the odds and also to face the daily challenges in life with a strong mind and focus i lost we all lost at least we lost our family lost her early in our life but she definitely was a milestone in the way i had to see and face the world my entire journey i have worked in that way getting inspired from my parents and my family so you can see this entire story how it is doing and my entire life has gone through a wave of transformation in my life now the beginning so how it started so my entire career i worked in telecom industry building products for telcos across aiml digital products for the telcos like digital bss solutions digital iot solutions digital payment solutions and also many product lines across 2g 3g 4g and 5g so like every computer engineer when i completed my graduation i also came to the silicon valley of india which is bangalore our company was a very small fish in this entire tech it giants which were there in the silicon valley so when i started my job many used to come and ask me what do you exactly do how big is your company can you really think you guys can sell your products in the market do you get any on site opportunities to go to us and uk do you have customers in us and uk and like every other parents my parents also wanted me to get a decent job and get settled in life so i used to smile at them with all humbleness and i used to tell them i have a different passion where i wanted to work and create something innovative in the telecom industry so they all used to look at me give a weird smile and say all the best <laughs> and they used to turn back and they used to all murmur and say do you really think he can go and sell these products against this tech it giants we don't believe we are all sure in 2 years he is going to drop this idea come back and do some other job and even when i used to go and sell these products across many countries everybody used to ask the same question do you have a legacy do you have a history of where you have deployed these products so again with all humbleness and with a small smile i used to tell them we are going to become a trusted brand which is going to create and script a new history and new legacy which is going to stay for 100 years and beyond that so that's our story and today i can proudly say we have deployed our products across 80 plus countries across the globe and this journey was not easy in this entire journey if a person who has come from a small village can stand today and give this inspiration to all of you i believe each one of you can do this and you can also create this kind a motivational change and inspiration to the entire future generation which comes in now 
So I would al I always talk about Namma Bangalore because Namma Bangalore also created a great foundation for people like us to do this entire thing and also to achieve where we are here today. Now you can see, I always carried with dreams and passion to do something. You can see that I am jumping high to touch the clouds. So the photo looks like that, but to get this photo like this, I took minimum 15 takes. <laughs> so many times I had hard falls. But what I wanted to say, these hard falls are the times where I realized I need to again jump so that I touch the cloud, right? So this is the way you should be inspired. So the wave of transformation for me is an inspiration to grow and it's an opportunity to scale. Now, coming very specifically from the telecom industry, 24 years back, I'm just taking you all back to a 24 years back story again. When we started, the telecom industry was just evolving. Entire world in the telecom industry was also evolving. Especially in the case of India, we had telecom industry just growing. Mobile phones were considered to be a luxury item. You go to any shop, you can see that as a monumental piece kept in there. No common man can realize this. It was a dream for him. And this triggered, there is an opportunity for us. And it also triggered in my mind, there is an opportunity. And this also raised three questions in our mind, at least in my mind again. Why, how, and when? So that's where the entire journey started with. So you would see the evolution of telecom and the mobiles in India has created a lot of evolution even in our side, even in the life which I went through in the last 24 years. As I said, we started, I will, I will quote an example of one of the products what we did for our, one of the major telecos in the world. So we built something like a digital wallet and this digital wallet stores the talk time credit of the operator. And you can use this talk time to transfer from one customer to the another customer. Now, this was a small concept, but it was a great success in that industry. Similarly, you can see there were a lot of evolutions which happened in many industries, not just in telecom. It also happened in finance, banking, and you can see there are today digital wallets which store similar concepts where cash and credits are kept. And these cash and credits can be used for transferring to bank transfers, you can do between a customer to your peer. You can also use it for doing merchant payments and utility payments. So this way, today, the wave of transformation in the mobile industry and in the telecommunication has helped not just making the mobile phones as a dream to realize, it has empowered the common man today, where the common man consider this as a social identity and the wave of transformation in this industry has created a social economic upliftment for the entire human race. Now, it comes also with the question of how and when. Now, let me get back again to one of the projects. So, the, the term how looks very simple. Like we, we solve the why because we continue developing products and products. Now, how to develop this? You need, this is where the most critical part will come, where if you decide to get into an inspirational story like this, you need to have also have a strong team, a strong group whom you trust who can help to build this. So let me take again a story of what we did. So we, 15 to 20 people, sat in a room. We started working for so many months. And based on this, we had the launch date of the product. And we are all sitting in the room. Customer is also sitting. We went to start the launch. In half an hour, we are saying the system is crashing. <laughs> so we had a very bad experience. But I would say failure is the success for every opportunity and every, every, it's a gateway for success. If you don't fail, you don't learn how to come out from these failures and to go into success. Now, Based on these transformations, what you have seen in this entire industry, not just in telecom, in other world, right? In other industry also, there is a lot of transformations which has happened. And because of this, you can see even in India, just take the example of India. We, in India today, we have business ideas which has grown from millions to unicorn business ideas. Even the digital transformation has changed the way we transact today. 
It also has created new business market potentials. Even if you want to order today anything at home, you just take your mobile phone and just press on the phone so that things get delivered. So the entire wave of transformation has not just empowered the common man. It has not empowered just the engineers, doctors, professionals like you, but it has also empowered the entire human society. And it also has created a lot of innovators who have created disruptive change for the human society. Now, the next question is about when do you start this, right? You need to also know when to start. Now, each one of you sitting here, I was also in a similar stage when I passed my graduation. And when you talk about when, the when is something which has to be triggered to you when you need to do the disruptive change. For me, it happened like 24 years before. When I started my career, I understood that there is something to be done which has to create an innovative and a disruptive change to the human society. I just quote an example again here. I was fortunate and humble enough to get an invitation to participate in one of the startup mission conclaves, which happened in one of the reputed educational institutions in India. I could see many startup people who had come in to me and asked. They were very enthusiastic. They had many interesting ideas which were there. And these ideas, many had failed many times, and many are still growing to succeed. I could see that passion they carry is also the similar passion, right? So I would again ensure you, you need to get inspired. It is you and me and people like us who has to continue this hard work so that we create innovative and disruptive changes to the human society. Now, when I summarize, looking ahead, when I want to summarize, I would say that the wave of transformation had its own challenges, but at the same time, it had major outcomes as well in a very positive way. Just in the case of India, if you see, we had mobile phones growing from last 24 years. Mobile phones have grown from 1.1 million to 1.15 billion users. I am sure all of you are having a smartphone today, right? Yes or no? Okay, so you see that, that is the way the industry has changed. That is the way the social economic change has happened. And not just that, you can see India is, has become an area where the digital disruption has become very huge success. Even if you go to the smallest village, the remote part of India, if you want to order something, you can still order through a mobile phone. If you want to call something, somebody, you can still call someone through a mobile phone. So you can say that we have moved from the era of box phones, phone booths, where landlines, we used to wait for months to get a landline connection. We have moved from these eras where we have moved from landlines to 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G, and also to many IoT-based solutions. So again, I would say, with all my story, and if I'm able to inspire at least any one of you, where in this wave of transformation, you can continue inspiring to grow, and all of you should identify there is an opportunity to grow. And if anybody gets inspired, I'm very happy that in future we will see many innovators who will create very disruptive changes for the human society. Now, to conclude, again, as I said, Namma Bangalore had a very interesting role in the entire journey what I had, and it created and gave me the foundation also to build and also to achieve my dreams. So Namma Bangalore is a Spruti Nagara. Thank you. <laughs>